Hey, what's up you guys? Megan here. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I'm going to be doing a college Q&A and I asked for questions on my Instagram for this just in case anyone wanted to ask me any specific questions, but I figured if no one asked me questions, I could find some. I don't know. You guys really overwhelmed me. I got a ton of questions, way, way more than I was ever expecting. So I actually had to cut a few out of this Q&A. I would say about two thirds of these questions are based on UVA in particular because if you guys didn't know, I'm a rising third year there. I'm majoring in commerce in the McIntyre School. Those were most of the questions that I got anyways. The other third are college questions in general. So if you guys want to skip to any certain part, I will leave the timestamps down below so you guys can skip around. If I don't have to answer your question in this video, please feel free to ask me in the comments down below. I always respond and I would love to help y'all. I know a lot of times people DM me on Instagram. So if you have any like super specific questions or questions about like comm school or anything, definitely feel free to DM me. My Instagram is at Megan Kelleher with two N's. I always respond to DM. So I love when you guys message me. It just makes me so happy. If you guys like college videos like this, definitely let me know with a thumbs up. I am doing a ton of college content coming up in the next month. Anyways, that's a whole lot of me like self promoting. If you guys want to see those videos, definitely subscribe down below. I make new videos every Wednesday and Sunday and let's get into the questions. I tried to group them all together so I got as much information out as I possibly could. The first question is, when do you start getting into classes that have to do with your major, first year or second year? I, as I said, am majoring in commerce and I didn't start taking comm classes until the second semester of my first year. The McIntyre School is kind of a unique situation just because there are so many prereqs and so so like, I'm not gonna be taking like major classes until this year, so my third year, that is definitely interesting, but also the classes that I took like Econ, Stat, Com 1800, which is like intro to Com, stuff like that, like those are obviously foundational to what I'm learning, so I guess those are part of my major. I didn't take any super specific major classes until my second year. I took financial accounting and managerial accounting. I kind of took like the intro classes and the prereqs. For most majors, that is what your first and second years are made up of, which kind of sucks, but also it's nice because you get to experience different things. That's me putting it lightly. It really depends on the class and how good it is. Sometimes you enjoy it, sometimes you don't. Depending on the major, it depends on how many prereqs you have to have. So like for bio, I want to say it's literally just like a couple classes. So you can probably start taking like super like intensive bio classes as a second year. If you don't have those prereqs coming in or you don't know that you want to major in bio until the end of your second year, you're probably not going to start taking those major classes until until around your third year people asked about recommended classes as a first year and someone else also asked about any classes for comm school students. For classes first year, I really, especially first semester, I took classes I was interested in. I really didn't like have any idea what I was doing. I thought I wanted to be a lawyer and major in like this certain major. Pretty much every student at UVA takes microeconomics. Com 1800 is a great one. If you think you're interested in business, it's really good to kind of weed out whether or not you're actually interested in it or you like the idea of it. I know for many of my friends, they absolutely hated it and thought they wanted to do comm. So they were really glad that they took it. I took it, I loved it. So I knew I probably wanted to do comm. So that was a great class. I felt like I really learned a lot in that class. So I highly recommend that to any first Year. I took a lot of intro level classes, which I actually really regret taking just because I found that one, they were really difficult considering, which is funny because you would think that they were easier, but I swear I took an intro to politics class. I literally got a five on my AP Gov exam. I struggled in the intro to politics class so much. I would really, really try and stray away from all the intro classes if they're not required for your major. Some of my favorite classes I've taken at UVA are semester I really try to balance my schedule to have at least one class that I'm interested in just because one it will make my life a lot better also it does help if you're interested in the class to do better in the class because let me tell you college it's a little different GPA not where she used to be it's okay for calm really take your time to look at the prereqs that they have listed on the website and evaluate if you have any credits coming in what you can do and kind of roughly sketch it out I didn't decide I wanted to do that until registered 
registering for classes second semester first year. Let me tell you, I barely got all my stuff done under the gun. I took stat my spring semester this year. What I would recommend doing is take micro in the fall of your first year, macro in the spring of your first year, and then take financial in the fall of your second year, managerial in the spring of your second year. Those are kind of the four classes that definitely need to kind of be around then just because otherwise you're gonna feel a little bit behind. You're not gonna wanna do econ and accounting like I did at the same time. That was not fun. And then also I found that those times were when the most people looking to do comm were doing those classes. So it's nice to obviously have friends in those classes. You know, you can work on problem sets together, etc. So those are like the four core classes you have to schedule for. I already had calculus credit coming in. I took stat spring semester second year, which was horrible. Easily my least favorite class I've ever taken at UVA. Like I hated it. The only good thing was since it was during Corona, I took it for credit, no credit instead of graded. And I was already accepted into McIntyre at that time. So that very good thing because I did not do so hot in that class. What is the best time of day to take a college class? Like are 8 a.m.s that bad? Yes. <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys can tell from my videos or not. I am absolutely not a morning person, nor have I ever claimed to be. The earliest college class I've ever taken is a 9 a.m. I had that class with my friend Liv and my roommate LT. They can attest they were dragging my ass out of bed every time I had to go to that class. I was so tired. I have met like two people who actually can function during 8 a.m.s, so highly suggest don't do that. If you're a rising first year, you probably have no idea how tired you're gonna be in college. I I just kind of functioned off far less sleep my first year than I ever had before just because you're up doing homework, you're going out, etc. Like you're just, don't do an 8 a.m. That's my advice, just never do it. I got actually a surprising amount of questions about the meal plan and food at UVA. I mentioned this briefly in like my why UVA video. Yeah, not the best, not the worst though. Like people give it a lot of crap. Generally, I kind of ate the same like 10 things first year, but that's okay. Which meal plan do you recommend? Like the one with more plus points or less? So I think they're called flex dollars now. It used to be called plus dollars. First year, you're required to buy the unlimited meal plan. Please don't ever calculate how much that comes out to per month because you will be sad. I have had the one with the 300 plus dollars slash flex dollars. Basically, you have three ways to use your student ID, aka your dining card, aka how you get things. You can either swipe into the dining hall, you have an unlimited amount of swipes per day. Then there's meal exchanges. So these are specific meals set out by the university that counts as a meal exchange. So that's a meal from Subway, a meal from Chick-fil-A, rising roll, the different little restaurants or whatever on grounds or crossroads aka crowds. <laughs> TBT, this plus this plus this equals a meal. So at Chick-fil-A, you can't get nuggets, but you can get a sandwich. So certain things apply, certain things don't. You get two or three of those per day, depending on whether you get this meal plan or this meal plan. That is nice, but it's a little bit limiting. So then you have 150 or 300 plus dollars. These are what you can do if you want to get something at Five Guys or you want to get something else off the menu at Subway. You want to buy something at Starbucks, anything else that's like associated with university. All the food trucks that are by the amphitheater, you can also spend your plus dollars there. I actually whipped through these my first semester, first year. First of all, I got Starbucks all the time. But also, there's some better meal options with the plus dollars. I cannot emphasize to you enough how nice the 300 plus dollars are. I used all of them both my semesters first year and you can also order takeout with them at a couple of restaurants, so. That's all you need to know. And then I got two more questions about the best places to eat on grounds. I loved the Crow's quesadillas. That's probably what it gave me the freshman 15, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Crow's after a late night out, yes, hits a little different during the day, not so much. I loved rising rolls, peach, pecan, oatmeal. You can get that with coffee as a meal exchange. I always did that in the morning before econ. Liv and I used to go first year, that was really nice. I also used to go to Einstein's all the time and you can get a bagel and cream cheese and coffee for a meal exchange. Change, loved going there and I didn't discover West Range until literally the last two weeks of my first year so if you're a rising first year it's a little bit hard to find but go with a friend try to figure it out they have really good grilled cheese and a couple other options so those are probably my favorites but 
-hmm. Oh, I didn't even mention the dumpling truck. I mean, just unparalleled. It was ridiculous the amount of times I got dumplings. So don't just limit, rein yourself in, limit it a little bit. So now on to like other UVA questions. Someone asked things that we should know about UVA before we get here. The first thing that comes to mind is the lingo, which roll your eyes all you want. It's a thing. I know orientation this summer is virtual, so I don't know what they're telling you and what they're not, but the lingo, very important. No one will like look down on you or anything. It's just like weird because everyone else says first year, second year. No one says freshman, sophomore. So that's a telltale sign that you're first year. And then also you're on grounds, not campus. I'm like the worst. I can't even think of any more off the top of my head, but I specifically remember this video that they showed us at orientation. So I'll link it down below. Obviously it's not a big deal if you mess up, it's not that deep. Another thing is kind of a general idea of where everything is. I highly recommend that you walk your schedule to your classes before you go to your classes on your first day, just to make sure you can find all the buildings. I had downloaded this app. I think it's called Campus Maps. I'll leave it down below. If if I can find it. This was a lifesaver because I know first year that there's so many like buildings and it's really overwhelming, especially if you're in like a weird one, like download this app so you can on the low look at your phone and make sure you're going to the right place. That's the worst feeling walking in the wrong classroom. So don't do that. Another thing that you'll develop over time is a general sense of where everything is. So like grounds is over here, dorms are over here, just kind of a general idea of grounds so that you are able to navigate it by yourself. Obviously it's very overwhelming at first and it takes a little bit to get used to. Going off that, someone else asked, is everything easy to get to? Are the dorms close to the main buildings and the corners? So depends where you live. UVA has a ton of dorms actually. There's the old dorms, which kind of still an extension of grounds. And then there's the new dorms, which are across Alderman Road, right? Yeah. Jesus, Megan. Okay. So up at the top, you have like Lyle Maupin, Balls Doby, like all those. And then as you go down, there's more dorms. So there's the motel dorms right in front of Scott Stadium, AKA the football stadium. And then there's Gooch Dillard, which is even further down. And those are sweet style dorms. And they're really nice on the inside, but they're just so far. I know everyone freaks out about the distance between their dorm and class, so dorm in the corner, etc. Everyone gets used to where they're living. There's the bus system, you can walk. Once you figure out kind of how long it takes you to get places, it's really not that big of a deal. For me, I lived in Dabney, which is literally like the closest dorm to anything. So it took me like five minutes, 10 minutes max to get to class, which was so nice. And then to the corner, I probably take 10 minutes-ish. To any dining hall, it was about five minutes. If you lived in new dorms, you were probably much, much closer to Oak Hill, which is another dining hall, but it probably took 10, 15 minutes to get to class. And then Gooch Dillard, it probably took like 20, 25, I don't know. I rarely walked over there because it was just out of the way and not really towards anything else for me. All my friends who live there would just stop by my dorm on the way home. If you make friends in your dorm or near your dorm too, it's really nice, you can always walk with them. It's really not a big deal, but definitely depends on where you live. I've actually gotten a lot of Instagram DMs about this, but someone asked, do you think it's harder for students who are out of state. I am in state, I'm from Virginia, but I don't necessarily think it's that much harder for students who are out of state. I assume y'all mean acclimating. Obviously it's harder for them to get in. The acceptance rate is way lower. A great way to like get involved and make some friends first year is definitely get to know people on your hall or your suite, wherever you're living, just because those can be kind of like your friends to start. And I say that just because you never really know who like your friends are gonna end up being in the long haul. Like only a couple of my friends from first semester, first year, I'm still friends with now. No hard feelings, it's just, that's how the chips fall. So definitely just try to meet as many people as you can. Always just like go up to people. And even if you think it's awkward, everyone wants a friend, especially the first couple weeks of school. If you see someone sitting alone in the dining hall, sit next to them or across from them and ask them their name, like it's, yeah, like it's cringy, but you just have to like get over it and just tell yourself you're gonna do it. And you never know who you might meet. I've done that a couple times and it was, Whew. Okay, SD card filled up because we're already 30 minutes in. But yeah, as I was saying, it's a little awkward at first, but you just have to get over that hump and realize that everyone is looking to make new friends, especially the first couple weeks. If you're out and you see someone, introduce yourself to them. Like it's not as weird as you think it is. And I don't know, just like be open to meeting new people. Definitely go to the activities fair, try and maybe find a club that you're interested in. That's a great way to meet people. My roommate first year, she was from Florida. A lot of my high school friends gave me UVA because we were 
were a Virginia public school and so like a lot of kids do go to UVA so I introduced her to my friends and then whenever my friends made new friends like we'd all just kind of hang out together and while they're not really still friends now it was nice for her to at least know that like she had people and like a friendly face when you're walking to class so that's nice just try expand your social circle as much as possible the first couple weeks Someone asked, is all the social activities around Greek life? I think this is a really interesting question because I wouldn't have thought to ask this. First year, for a little background, both sororities and fraternities don't do rush until spring semester. So as first years, you're not involved in Greek life, if you know what I mean. I would say it was a little hard getting into the social scene the first couple weeks, but once you start to meet people, they'll know people who will know people and it's just kind of fine. I will say it's a pretty equal amount of bars and frats at UVA so yeah I wouldn't say it's all based around Greek life because a lot of my best friends who aren't in Greek life have a very healthy social life I would say first year I went to a lot of like fraternity functions that was very much based on Greek life but now I don't really go to those as much anymore I don't know like that's just like not as much of a thing I mean I'll go to like mixers and stuff like that but more to like people's apartments and stuff so it totally depends honestly on who you're friends with and like what they're doing but I would say first year it kind of is pretty centered around Greek life but then after that it kind of really branches off. Someone asked what's your favorite place to study slash what's your favorite library at UVA? Um, so my favorite library of all time, Alderman Library, the third floor stacks, they are currently being demolished so that sucks. They're not opening until spring of 2023, something crazy so I'm sad about it. I don't know where my new study space is but that was definitely mine so if you guys got a suggestion, any UVA students definitely let me know. College in general, let's talk. Okay, this is from my friend Peyton. She said, how do you do meal slash groceries with your roommate, UVA meal plan, mood? I did not have a meal plan second year. A lot of my friends did. I remember like when we first started, they're like, are you gonna be okay? Like, how are you gonna do that? I managed totally fine. We actually really didn't share stuff at all, which I thought we were going to do. And I'm pretty glad that we did it the way that we did. We divided up our fridge so we each had a section and then on the door we shared condiments and stuff like that but we never really like shared food unless we were planning to make a meal together I know that LT and I would sometimes split things or Liv and I would split things whenever we were making food together I think that was mostly because they all three had meal plans so this was kind of supplementing their meal plan whereas mine was literally my food like that was all I had to eat we definitely like all shared kitchen utensils and everything like no one had their own like cups or anything like that but however if like we did make like a baked good or something if anything was to be shared we would just leave it on the counter so that we could all split it that's kind of how we would tell each other that we could split it as for grocery shopping this took me a month or two to fully get down but I would always go to Wegmans and Trader Joe's Trader Joe's for me was where I'd get frozen meals and things that I could whip up really quick for lunch or dinner some of my favorite staples from Trader Joe's are their fried rice which definitely is not that great for you they have great stir-fry veggies and I would make a stir fry at least once or twice a week and then also their turkey burgers which I would have all the time from Wegmans I'd get all my produce all my meat and often I would actually like freeze chicken and stuff or meal prep not really even meal prep I just make chicken for the first couple of days of the week generally I kind of rotated the same meals and stuff but if you guys ever want to see like a college meals video I would love to do that for you guys because I've definitely learned a lot about cooking this year I still feel like my meals are pretty basic but they're not that unhealthy like they're just kind of normal so if you guys want to see that definitely let me know someone asked how do you stay healthy in college um I am not so I I'm sorry maybe eat more vegetables and limit the calories in mixers that is honestly my best advice this is rapid fire right now because my brother said we have to leave in five minutes okay most used college items I did a dorm essentials video I will plug it down below and up in the cards off the top of my head my scout romp bruised investment I still use it I used it for my room this year the desk hutch that I bought for my desk first year. I used it second year and now I'm using it next year too. That was like the best $65 I've ever spent. People always ask me about it and also my bedding from Dormco. The softest, comfiest bed
setting ever. I'm using it next year too. Used it this year, used it last year. Like great. A speaker, definitely need a speaker. I have the JBL Flip 4, I think. It's just like the mini, oh wait, it's back here. It's white, it's technically water resistant. You can bring it in the shower with you. Highly recommend, you definitely need a speaker in college. Good headphones. I have AirPods and the Bose noise canceling headphones. Amazing investments, I use them all the time. Could not live without them. Those are just off the top of my head though. That video has more information in it, but those are just like my top essentials. How did you get involved in clubs slash how did you find out about different clubs? The club that I'm probably the most involved in, WUVA, I actually found out about them from my mom. After first semester, first year, I had a total breakdown about the fact that I was not involved in anything. I felt like I was wasting my time. So she actually showed me this video that WUVA had produced and was like, you would be really good at this. Like this totally seems up your alley. I found them during the spring activities fair, wrote my name down, went to an info session, then a training session. Now I am, I'm like working my way up in there. So I've definitely really enjoyed my time there. I'm also kind of involved in my sorority. I run their social media and also there's a ton of leadership positions available there. So that's a great opportunity if you want to get involved there. Going to the activities fair first year, paramount to anything. Just try and find one club to join. Don't feel a pressure by everyone else to join, I don't know, like 20 clubs. I know you'll put your name down for so many. Just try and join one for semester and that could be really good. How did you meet all your college friends? So it's funny because the friends that I have now are not the friends I would have thought I would have had first year. Liv and I actually lived on the same hall first year. I remember when I first met her, I thought she was actually crazy. Her and I got kind of close like second semester, second year, and then by the end we were really good friends and then obviously we're best friends now. She is my life partner. A lot of my friends, I will say, I did meet through Chi Omega, my sorority, which has been awesome. I'm excited to get closer with a lot of them this year because I'm actually living in the Kyo house. So that's been really nice. Just seeing them like walk in class and even if you don't know someone super well, it's just really nice to have a friendly face and say hi to them. I've also made some friends in my classes just by introducing myself to people, which is kind of awkward, but if it's the first day, I'd be like, hey, I'm Megan, Megan. I would just like to point out that my name is pronounced Megan. I don't know why I ever said Megan, but that just pains me to listen to. So let's not get it twisted. Megan, nice to meet you. I'm a second year, third, actually. I'm a third year now. But just like introducing yourself to people like, hey, how you doing? Like, what are you majoring in? Super simple questions. Honestly, I'm still really close with a lot of my high school friends too, which is really nice. Someone asked, which is better, hall style or suite style dorm? I lived in a hall style dorm and basically what that is, we had about 10 to 12 rooms on a hall. Each room had either two or three people in it. We had one triple on our hall. So Dabney 2L, so the left side, and then Dabney 2R, the right side, we all shared one bathroom, which seems crazy, right? After living it, I've never had to wait for a shower stall or a toilet stall. So there were eight sinks in the bathroom. There were like eight stalls, six shower stalls, I was like there was just, it was never an issue, which is just so weird to me, but I thought I wouldn't like it, but I really loved it, great experience. Suite style basically is where there's two to three rooms, each with two to three people, and then you guys all share. It's one bathroom with like two toilets, two sinks, and a shower, something like that. Some of my friends who have lived in suites have just absolutely loved it. They get super, super close with their suite mates, so it's definitely a great opportunity for both. I loved my experience on a haul, but I feel like I totally would have loved my experience in a suite too. Too, so I wouldn't stress too much about it. Although, all right, I am sweating. I'm out of breath. This is over an hour long. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you do have any other lingering questions, definitely leave them down below or DM me on Instagram. I always respond and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.